you got Mark coming to you here on the Garage K879 channel, and I am in a good mood. First of all, I'm sporting some new flannel here. Got that quilted inside, nice and toasty. You could say I got some new flannel for the Garage Guy channel. <laughs> all right, but the main reason here, my five month search is over. Back on June 30th of this year, I downloaded a video to YouTube called I Owned an m and Shield for Six Minutes. And that was a God's honest truth. Anyhow, I haven't been able to find one around here until today. I got the call. I went to Mahoney Sporting Goods in Abingdon, Virginia and picked this up. The Smith & Wesson m and 9 Shield chambered 9mm. And I'm going to tell you what? Yeah, I'm holding it upside down. Well, anyway, I'm just in a good mood. Uh, I've been looking for this gun. I heard a lot of good things about it. But then I heard a lot of people that uh, here on YouTube that think they're above everybody else, like they're the be-all and know-it-all about gun videos that didn't like it. So what? No gun's perfect. Who cares? As long as I like it, I'm happy. As long as you like your guns, be happy, and I'll be happy for you. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do a little talking about this. I'm gonna tell you now, on the inside of the box, there is one thing I didn't like that was different from the uh, one I had back in June. Had nothing to do with the gun. Be right back. Well, I was gonna do part two, uh little review of this gun up at the garage last night after I did the uh, first part. My batteries went dead here in my little camera. I record these videos with a Flip Ultra. It takes two AA batteries. And I must have bought a bad pack of batteries because the others I had were just flat out dead. Well anyway, we're here at my little handgun range. And a couple of weeks ago I did a video about Tula Ammo and how it would do uh, being fired through my M&P9 compact. And if you've seen the video, you'll see no problems, no malfunctions whatsoever. Wasn't some bad stuff, and actually it wasn't all that dirty either. So what I'm going to do, I got uh, the seven round magazine here filled up with the tool of ammo, and I got the eight round magazine filled with tool of ammo. From what I understand, you can't uh, use these to reload or something about the shell casing. Oh well, my first shots out of this gun are going to be with that cheap Soviet crap, tool of ammo. Box of Federal at Walmart, 15 bucks. Box of Tula, 10 bucks and some change. Let's get over here and do a little shooting. Okay. I took the old tape measure and uh, measured off 15 foot, 5 yards. That's a pretty uh, normal self-defense distance. First, uh, I'm going to shoot the 7-round uh, magazine. Then I'm going to shoot the 8-round magazine. Here we go. First shots out of this thing. see what I can do here. Well, as you could see, no failures to feed, no failures to eject. All in all, pretty good gun, 115 grain uh, target rounds, hardly no recoil at all, hardly no re uh, muzzle flip either. Let's look at this target, see what kind of damage I've done. We'll just take the old camera down here. 
Like I said before, that was my first shot sale of that gun. I had a couple of, uh, well, had kind of three here. I was pulling to the left a little bit. I'm happy. Well, I'm going to head back up to my house and uh, we'll finish this review. Catch you in a few. All right, let's get this started. Uh, the review part here, I shot those uh, rounds through the seven and eight round magazines. No problems whatsoever. I think this little shield shoots actually better than the one I had before that I sold to my nephew up in Maryland. But anyway, I want to say before we start here, all the guns you see, or all the guns you're going to see here in this review part, have been safety checked. Now, let's open this up here. Right here is what I was talking about being a little, being different. You got kind of a little storage compartment here. Of course, it's cardboard. Uh, and here's what I didn't like about it. It comes in some kind of pouch. It's kind of plastic. And you got a little bit of a different filling kind of plastic under the bottom here. I don't think any oil is going to seep out or anything. I like uh, what all the other Smith & Wesson guns have been coming in. This, uh, what I like to call cheesecloth or oil paper. I like this. I wish I had a roll of it. Anyhow, uh, let's check out the trigger function on here. All right. Man, that is nice. That is just sweet. Like I said, I think this has a better trigger than uh, the one I sold my nephew back in June. Alright. Reset time. That is a good pop. I heard it. I felt it. Very audible. Very noticeable. No problem. Uh, if you ask me, now, it pretty much looks the same as the uh, M&P non-compact. A lot of people like to bellyache about the safety here. Of course, my m p 9 Compact doesn't have it. You got to give a little bit of effort to push it up on safe, and you just got to give a little bit of effort to uh, put it back on fire. You know what? It's no big deal to me. I don't know why people are complaining. The reason I think Smith & Wesson put this on here is so you can carry one in a chamber. All you got to do, if you get in a bad situation, Pull it out of your holster, and by the time you got it halfway pulled, you got that safety off. It's not difficult. It's a training issue. I think this Smith & Wesson shield has the best compact sights of any gun on the market at size. I heard about people saying, oh, well, you know, one of the dots fell off or something. Hey, just get a toothpick, a little bit of paint, fingernail polish, or even white out. Put a drop on there, you're good to go. It's got a, uh, you know, a little flatter grip on it than the uh, full size and compact, of course, since it's single stack and subcompact. It's pretty fat right there. I got the medium grip on this compact here. As a matter of fact, it comes in closer comparison to the uh, Taurus PT-111 I got here as far as the grip size. That is a really thin grip for a double stack. And yes, this is a Taurus I moaned and complained about, the one with the crack in it. I still haven't got to send it off yet. But I'll get to it soon enough. Do a little bit of a uh, width comparison. Of course, the Taurus is going to be a little bit slightly wider than the shield. Let's look at the grips here. The Taurus is just an eyelash wider than the shield. As we look at the uh, compact, quite a bit wider than the shield, quite a bit thicker. The grip, quite a bit thicker. Of course, I got the eight round magazine in here. The shield grip's going to be longer. And I would dare say, with the flush magazine, let's see what we got. A 
they're about the same. And this has the uh, extended finger grip on the compact model, that magazine. How did I like it? This thing shot well, it aimed well, no problems. 115 grain target ammo, hardly no recoil whatsoever, no muzzle flip, very manageable. And as far as concealed carry, you talk about a difference between this and the M&P 9 Compact, man. The shield beats it all to pieces as far as concealed carry. Very comfortable. You don't even hardly notice it's there. Carry it with a seven-round magazine. You have the eight-round magazine and another little pouch on the other side of your belt, however you want to carry. This is a self-defense gun. It's not a really a target gun unless you want to get out and practice with it it's not really a range gun but then again it can be a range gun if you want it to be hell any gun can be a range gun even one of those little phoenix arms those are decent little pistols i'm going to hang on to this one i've owned it a lot longer than six minutes like i did the last one but i'm going to tell you what this is a lot of fun and, and it's simple, very, very simple to operate, take apart. There's a Blue Million videos about this gun here on YouTube where they take it apart. Everybody knows all the details and everything. People are saying, oh no, another M&P Shield video. Yeah, that's right. Might as well throw my name in the hat. <laughs> well, look, it's Garage Guy 879. I'm going to get off here. Uh, like I said... I'm hanging on to this little baby. This is going to be my concealed carry weapon. Cold weather months and warm weather months. Unless I'm open carrying. And here in Virginia, you can open carry. And when I open carry, I'll either use the M&P Compact or go with the Glock 19. I'm out of here. When you go shooting, be safe.